in this uh, short uh, video we will see the effect of changing resistance or compliance on the waveforms in uh, pressure control mode of ventilation we have a patient who is on pressure control mode of ventilation you can see how the pressure goes up to uh, 15 and stays at, stays at 15 centimeter of water for the duration of inspiration which is 1.5 seconds uh, the uh, flow waveform is decelerating waveform, which is typical for pressure control mode of ventilation. You can see each breath the patient is delivering with this pressure around 700 ml of air. Now, what happens if uh, the, the resistance is increased in this uh, mode of ventilation? So, the resistance is increased here. And let's take a look on the next breath. The pressure is the same. However, the tidal volume is decreased. Now, if we, how do we differentiate between whether this is caused by increased resistance or decreased compliance? Uh, it would be the same in terms of the uh, tidal volume and the pressure. So the pressure will be delivered the same and the tidal volume is decreased in both cases. However, in uh, increased resistance, take a look on the expiratory phase and you will see limitation of the flow. So you can see the peak expiratory flow is decreased compared to the previous, the previous uh, breath. And you can see it's taken longer to exhale all the way to the zero line. And uh, if we relieve that uh, resistance again, you can see the difference. How the expiratory flow is now back to normal. Now let's do the uh, decreased compliance and see the difference. So, in, if the compliance is decreased, again, it's the same pressure, results into lower tidal volume, which is similar to the uh, case of increased resistance. However, the lung is uh, very stiff and it empties very fast. You can see uh, the peak expiratory flow is increased compared to the previous uh, breath. And now we can exhale, exhale much faster. You can see the expiratory uh, flow wave goes back to zero very quickly compared to the previous uh, waveform, uh, to the previous breath. So in uh, summary, in uh, the uh, differentiation between resistance and compliance, uh, differentiation between increased resistance and decreased compliance on pressure control ventilation can only be made when you take uh, close consideration of what happens to the expiratory flow. So both cases will result into the same pressure, less tidal volume. However, because the lung is stiff in uh, decreased compliance, you empty faster and uh, yeah, the expiratory uh, flow, uh, the peak expiratory flow will be higher and shorter expiration. In uh, increased resistance, the same pressure uh, will deliver less tidal volume. However, the peak expiratory flow will be less and it will take longer time for exhalation. Thank you.